What's up guys? What's up super players? It's your host Tony G and today I'm bringing you guys a market watch for the DBS card game and right now we're gonna start off with the booster boxes. Lately you've been seeing they're going up to $124 to $90 to where is the best place to buy them. So right now I'm gonna show you guys what's the best place. As of now TCG player has been the most uh, I guess affordable you could say at ranging from $81 with free shipping to 82 as we see here in their website if you look at eBay let me show you guys uh, eBay has it for $124 and if we look at Amazon Amazon has it for $89.99 there's only three in stock left but honestly I wouldn't go with Amazon yeah yeah prime shipping however with TCG player you get free shipping yeah you might wait a little bit but you'll you'll be getting it in time within about five to seven business days and it's your cheapest route to be honest it's $81 $81.99 82 and honestly it's your best bet go with TCG player guys if you're looking to buy a booster box a booster box to make those competitive decks or any deck you want to make and we're gonna go on to those the type of cards you could make if you don't want to buy the booster box here is where you'll find the single cards and right now if you are looking for special rares broly the rampaging heart god breaks Son goku if you have the budget to do it i say if your deck is all about looks and killing it i say go with special rares but to be honest it's 34 dollars if you want a very nice deck yeah if you have the money for it do it or trade with people however get the super rare you don't need the special rares to be honest the, uh, the, spe the super rares are only six dollars compared to the special rare right here we have 34 dollars god breaks on goku 37 the cheapest you'll find it is tcg player i looked up in um ebay hit 21 resurrection terror freezes 21 dollars guys if you're on a budget and most of you guys are i recommend going with the super rares don't go with the special rares but if you want about looks and you want to impress your opponent and be like yeah i got the best card looking cards do it if you're on a budget like me and c-rod i say super rares they do the same effect and here we go we have the awakening structure deck we're still giving our giveaway out description you'll see it but here they go for $29, so if you're looking to just buy the structure deck for your son, wife, kid, anyone, daughter, it's $29. That's the cheapest. The special edition packs are $24. And on to the actual single card. So Beer's General Demolition is $13.95. A lot of the prices are going to fluctuate just because the new box set just got announced and we're being released different card sets so we will see these prices fluctuate just keep updated we'll keep showing you guys more but as of now if you're trying to make trying to make a strong goku vegeta deck beers gem uh general demolition 13 dollars just one free shipping included some already have 2.99 so you'll be paying the same estimate about 14 bucks 12 roughly then you got vegeta prince of speed it's all about if you want the foil if not the common one is a lot cheaper it's about four dollars as we keep going down you'll see then we have the super rares 944 that's 944 guys compared to the special rare looking at 34 dollars i don't know i will go with the super rare if looks don't matter does the same effect and let's keep moving on to the next page the non-foil you're still looking at ten dollars cheaper than the actual foil one I don't know you guys be the judges but it does the same effect guys it just depends on what your preference is you want to show it off or you just want to kick butt it's up to you we have the lightning fast hit same one the super rare one it's 699 6.69 you're looking at tcg player it's five bucks for the god break sun goku individual packs are four to five bucks if you're trying to make a captain ginyu deck three bucks and going into the blue cards, red cards, you have about three ninety-six, roughly two bucks. The Awakening Rage Sun Goku. So these are all the super rares. Sensu Beam. Those of you guys that are trying to build the Energy Blue Amp uh, core, um, I think buying single would probably be a lot cheaper than really trying to buy a booster box if that's what your goal is. 
buy them single guys they're gonna still fluctuate with the release of the new card set just keep a lookout i'll keep uh updating you guys every other day and um yeah so it's 222 for the sense of being then we have the blue ones the most looked out cards are the energy boost boo so it's $1.43 Bewitching God bottles 142, so it's up to you guys. I say buy them single than buying the booster box. It'll be a lot cheaper if you're trying to build a deck, but honestly, it's a trade off. It depends on what you're you're trying to do. You're trying to build multiple decks, booster box. If you're just trying to go with a specific deck yourself, you want to go with the meta and build those core engines that you need. Buy them single. It's a lot cheaper. Do it. And um, further destruction, Champa. As you guys see, the gold tanks, objection, objection, guys. It's 80 cents. And if you look at also what we want to inform you guys with is the promo cards. Promo cards seem to be at high value just because we haven't seen them in the new box set. So they haven't really released them. Just like the Super Saiyan 3 Red Goku, which is one of the best cards, is still at the range of 140, $140. 134 is the cheapest. That's still expensive for just one card. But if you look at eBay, um, where is it at? Right here. We have, oh, that's the Broly promo. Let's type it up. 149. Honestly, you're looking at <laughs> spending over $100 for one card. And as we keep looking, we have, where is it at? Uh, the tab. Here it is. Here it goes. The Unstoppable harder $78 you're still looking at 70 bucks every promo card is still expensive until further notice if set 2 is gonna have the reprints but if they don't have the reprints the prices are gonna stay the same supply and demand guys if you continue to see no reprints of these cards it's gonna be pretty expensive to buy to be honest the light of hope trunks that me and C-Rod happen to be lucky and honored to get some at the anime expo this is the foil version the non foil is about 40 bucks as we keep looking you have cooler at 78 still expensive the non foil ones are still over about 50 dollars until further notice we're gonna see these prices to be honest until they reprint them and we won't find out until later on until they start showing the card list so we have the energy tag trunks Honestly, TCG Player is probably the cheapest place to buy the promo cards. Because if we go on eBay, they're over $100. Still, $30, $50. If you're trying to bet your luck, make some bids. Go out looking hunting and good luck with the hunting and eBay. Um, but yeah, guys, you're looking at about pff, over $30, $30 to $100 depending on the promo card you're trying to get. No matter where you look, those cards are still very expensive. The promo cards are where they're at. I haven't seen any sign of it being reprinted, so the prices of those cards are still going to be up there. I don't see them coming down anytime soon until they release the further card list of all the other card support. But nah, with this luck, I don't see it dropping down. And let us know if you like this kind of video, guys. This is my first go at it. Let me know how you think I did. If not, comment good, bad. Appreciate the feedback, guys. We don't get mad. And there you have it. Let us know uh, what you guys think. From me, Tony G, y'all stay super.